Hey everyone, my name is John Ritten. I am a livestock economist here at AgNext, and today I'm going to be walking you through our steer price slide tool. We put this tool together to help uh, producers understand economic impacts of different stocking decisions, either at the beginning of the grazing season or um, in the middle of the grazing season if, if things happen, such as a drought occurs and we need to consider destocking. And so if we want to look at how the values of animals change over time, it's a function not only of the weight of those animals and the month that we might market those, but also the impact of things like corn, corn prices as well as fed steer prices as those impact the demand for our animals. And so you can adjust all of the cells that are highlighted here. Those green cells, if you go out and look for December corn prices, so we're looking for the next December corn futures prices as well as fed steer futures prices. And so if we adjust those, um, it actually shows us how it impacts steer prices throughout the current growing season. So example, if we click on our December, December corn and say that corn is going to be cheaper this year, say $4.25 a bushel instead of five thirteen, it actually shifts those prices up a little bit. Same thing as if fed steer prices were to increase a little bit and say that we're going to have $2 steer prices. Again, you can see that that graph shifts those prices up a little bit. So this tool accounts for the fact that people purchasing steers in the state of Colorado typically feed them out for the fed cattle market and accounts for the other input in terms of feed as well as the value of the product when they're done being fed. And so at the beginning of the season, this could be useful for producers that are considering setting a stocking rate for yearling animals on, on in grazing systems. And so for example, we might want to stock with more animals, but sell them earlier in the year as we deplete our forage resources or reset our stocking rate at a, at a lower number and extend that grazing season. And by doing so, we really need to look at what that does to the weight of those animals across the season. And so I would recommend consulting with forward specialists and or um, animal scientists to help figure out what gains will be expected across the growing season in your area. If we think we're going to stock with more animals this year, we may not have that 775 target weight in September. We may only end up being at, say, 725. So we can put that number in here. And then that shows us how the forecasted value per head is for that increased stocking rate, but lower animal performance. And so we can do that again for a different sequence of grazing animals. We might expect to have 650 pound animals in August, again, 875 in October or 950, say in November. And then down below, if you look at those blue cells, that tells us the change in value on a per head basis. So instead of selling a 650 pound steer in August, if I hold that animal to September and it puts on 75 pounds, I would expect an increase in value of $115 per head. If I hold that on animal all the way to November, that's $532 increase in value per head. Now this tool does not account for the cost of production. And so we need to weigh that increase in value per head against the cost, whether we're leasing grass or we just have the opportunity cost of our own ranch or any potential long-term implications of if we graze it too heavy in a year, for example, with, with drought conditions or decreased forage production. And so the graph on the right with the green bars is just a visual representation of that value per head across time based on the weights that we put into those green cells on the left. So we created this price slide tool for the state of Colorado based on historical public data from auctions in the state of Colorado. We have done a similar tool for Wyoming based on prices in Wyoming. Again, there's a little bit of regional difference across state lines as far as expected cattle prices by month and by weight. And so for our neighbors to the north that are interested in looking at the implications of different stocking decisions and or marketing date decisions, we do have a tool specifically for them on the next tab. This was a quick rundown on how to use our new price slide tool. Um, you can find this information and more at agnext.colostate.edu slash price dash slide.